So to adopt a Unify device into a remote controller using SSH, the first thing you need to do is to pull the IP address of your device after you've got it connected to the network and then pick your favorite SSH client and connect to it. So I'm using PuTTY here. And if it's been set to factory defaults, the username and password is just UBNT, Uniform Bravo November Tango. And then once you're connected, you can see that I'm connected to an AP here. You just issue the command set-inform followed by your inform URL. So the inform URL is a publicly resolvable address that resolves to your Unify controller. And it's something you should set up when you set up the controller to be able to support remote devices. All right, and once you've got that set-inform command issued, if you flip over to the web interface of your Unify controller, you can see that we now have a device that is pending adoption. And if, and if you go to any of your sites, that device will show up. So make sure you select the site that you want to adopt that device into, and then select the Adopt option over here on the right under Actions. And then once you've selected Adopt, the status will go into a, the Adopting status, and then we need to flip back over to our Unify device and reissue that same command so that it will confirm with the controller that that is indeed the controller that it wants to be adopted into. And then once that command has been issued, that device should very shortly go into the provisioning status. And when it goes into the provisioning status, that's when the controller is just making sure it's, it's up to speed on all the site settings. And then you can see we've got a connected AP. And if we select it, of course, you want to go to the config option and name it something that makes sense. In this case, I have a site with only one AP, so I'm just going to name it AP. And then if it were out of date, I would, of course, recommend upgrading the firmware. But you can see here that I don't have the option to upgrade the firmware on this device. So that is how you use SSH to adopt a unified device into a remote controller.